Hey guys, I am Tosh Boy, and today we are watching the Star Trek Beyond. This is trailer two, uh, the trailer two for Star Trek Beyond. Sorry, um, I'm very excited for this. Now, I should forewarn anyone in case I do something stupid. My knowledge of the Star Trek films stretches from the first and the second of the reboot of the Star Trek films. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not someone who watches Star Trek or is religious about Star Trek or watched any of the old TV show or any of the older movies. I, I watched an, an older movie the other day with Patrick Stewart in it, and that was sort of a Star Trek, but a different kind of Star Trek, which has nothing to do with this Star Trek. It's a lot of Star Trek. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm more of a Star Wars person. I'm sorry. Um, but I do like the Star Trek films, uh, the new ones, and so hopefully I'll be able to um, not call a brute of Flabberjack a, a Klingon, and, you know, not refer to a planet as a big, round thing. Um, <laughs> but anyway... Uh, going that, I'm excited to see this film. I love the last two. Um, now the first trailer for this wasn't very Star Trekky for for me personally, and that's only what I've seen from the last two films. You know, it's very it seemed more like an action sort of movie rather than an adventure movie. Um, and I know what Star Trek is both, but you know, usually it airs on the more side of the adventure space adventure kind of thing. So yeah, hopefully this will f fulfill my expectations. Yes, hopefully. Let us go. Now I've finished talking. Sorry. We'll do a bit of analysis at the end, guys. Okay. My dad joined Starfleet because he believed in it. Right. Captain Kirk, yes. joined on a dare. You did join on a dare. to see if you could live up to him. Ah, Keith. He steals every scene he's in. You spent all this time trying to be your father. Oh. Now you're wondering just what it means to be you. Was that the Enterprise? It, it isn't looked uncommon, up. you know. <laughs> What's that? It's easy Whoa. to get lost. Some the cool graphics in space. And of course, lens flares. There's only yourself. Boris Salander, Simon Pegg. I mean, Zachary Quinto, didn't I? You really want to head back out there, huh? Of course. It's going to be fun. Probably. What the hell is this? Whoa. Yeah, I'm ripping the Enterprise off. They're boarding us. Kind of rudely. That's a rude way to board Man, people. Oh, that's... <gasps> oh, my God. Oh. Where even are they? I know Damn. why you're here. Why we are all here. Our captain will come for us. Mercy will be the last thing on his mind. <laughs> I am counting on it. You're crazy. That always gets me every time. Fear of death is illogical. Fear of death is what keeps us alive. Hell to the air. Everyone who goes there, there just to kill us. That's what friends are there. Kill by that. We can't just leave them behind. Surety right. is not your strength. It is your weakness. I think you're underestimating humanity. Hold nah. on to something! Oh, yes! Fire at will! Do it! Do it! Awesome sauce. Pardon me. <laughs> he likes that scene. <laughs> so does she. And she's keeping it. That looked really cool. Right, let's do a little bit of analysis. So first of all we have um, the Enterprise, I can assume. Um, it's not a very good clear shot. And we have Captain Kirk walking down the Enterprise. He's, he's talking about how his father joined the Starfleet because he wanted to make like a difference. And how he joined on the bet, which is true from the very first film where he's in the bar. And stuff like that. And then we have Keith Urban's character trying to talk to him about it. And trying to make him sort of like see sense, I suppose. Paramount, which is... You know, the people who produced this film. Now, is this the Enterprise, or is this, like, the building of a different Enterprise? Or what am I looking at here? Is it, like, a different Starfleet ship? Um, I'm unsure, but if it is the Enterprise, it got fucked up. <laughs> Which would fit with what happens later on in the trailer. If we if we jump forward a little bit, um, we see these things travelling through what looks to be kind of like a wormhole, a little bit like Interstellar, where it bent round um, space. Um, to cut time travelling, so being to stellar travel, basically, that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> um, and and he's like, oh shit, what's this? Uh, he's in some kind of, like, communications room, it's definitely in the Starfleet, because you can see the Starfleet banner there, and, and it says 
Starfleet, go with me, just work with me here, guys. Okay, um, th this was a seriously cool graphic, I thought. The Enterprise is travelling through it, um, which I think is really cool. I don't know what it is, but it's travelling through it, whatever it is. Here we have Mr. Spock looking kind of worried, and a lens flare, of course, as a signal to J.J. Abrams, the director of the first two. I think he's producing this one, I don't think he's directing them. Um, that would take a lot of time. Here we have Zoe Salander's character, whose name is this close on the tip of my tongue, and I, you, know, you can visualize a name, but you can't remember it. Oh, God damn it. So I'm going to call you Gamora, because, you know, she plays Gamora as well, so we'll go with that. So Gamora is here. <laughs> oh, I hope there's some Marvel fans out there who get that reference. Uh, anyway, and, and we have Simon and Pegg's character here, uh, Scotty, uh, and then it seems to be like releasing the Enterprise. This must be like a docking station where we get out. Uh, these guys have looked better. Um, they're all in sort of like leather. Mr. Spock, who's like wearing some kind of curtain, um, and Keith Urban's character is like, which was also I forgot. I'm very sorry. I'm not very good with names, and it's been a while since I last saw the last one. So, I will try to get back on that before before I watch the film and do the review. Um, but he's like, are you sure you want to go back out there? And they're like, hell to the yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. And and then surprise surprise, oh, this shit happens, and, it, and it's not a lot of fun. And they're all like, oh shit, people are dying. Uh, they're boarding us. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but this seems like a really rude way to board someone. You walk on their ship, and then you just shoot them all. That seems kind of rude. You blow up the ship, then you shoot them all. Everybody knows you shoot them first, then you blow up the ship. It's just villain logic. Um, so here we have. Now I forget his name, but he's the Russian one, or he's he's. I believe he is anyway, he's one of the engineers, um, I forgot his name too, wow, I'm, I am a terrible person. <laughs> um, and here we have Solo in, in, in the, in the, um, he's also in that, and he seems to be escaping, but his pod looks like it gets caught, or one of their pods get caught anyway. Now here we have a new chick, I don't know this chick, but she seems pretty nifty with her staff, so I'm going to call her Arya Stark for a while. So Arya's here like beating, if you don't get that Game of Thrones reference, get out. You know, Arya's here like beating the shit out of some men, and she's like trying to explain to uh, Sam and Peg's character that, you know, uh, her leader basically wants to kill everyone, which, you know, it's the kind of evil generic villain leader kind of shit that um, happens. Uh, this is Zoe Salander's Gamora, yeah, Gamora. <laughs> Just roll with it, guys. Saying, you know, it's so they won't be in, like, we're not going to, like, meet up and have coffee. We're going to kick your ass. And he's like, yeah, well, I don't like coffee anyway, so bring the ass kicking. Um, and he probably went, like, some, like, bitch at the end just, you know, to try and make her feel less of a woman, which she's not because she's awesome. <laughs> so, seriously, I'm not high, I promise. Um, here we have a lot of action shots. She's, like, screaming, like, oh, shit, you know, this guy, he's, you know, he only likes semi-skin milk. Um... There's some chasers, this chick's a badass, uh, Arya Stark, um, and we have like quite a lot of action scenes. Oh, this was a nice scene, like, Mr. Spock's like, uh, the fear of death is irrational, and then uh, Keith Urban's character's like, yeah, but to be fair, the, 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 um, fear of death is, is it Carl Urban? I've been calling Keith Urban this entire, it's Carl Urban, isn't it? So Carl Urban! <laughs> Oh yeah, here's Zoe, this is what I missed out because I was looking away, and Zoe Salander seems to be kicking some serious ass here. Um, Gamora, and, you know, Carl and Urban. There, he kills. That's your friends out there. I, but I'm going to call him Keith, behind. because I can't. Um, and I, I don't know why I'm playing that again, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, here is um, Gamora and Mr. Spot kissing. I'm going to call her Gamora for the whole thing now, guys. Even in the review, I'll call her Gamora. Um, set your phases to shit's going down. Uh, and then we just have a lot of action sequences, which kind of worries me a little bit because it's, you know, it's Mr. Spock. But this was cool, like, he likes that chair and she's like, well, I like this chair too, so I'm going to keep it. And I'm a bit like, wow, this chick's badass and she's kind of hot, so, yeah. I don't care if she's an alien. Aliens can be hot too. Um, that was pretty damn cool, guys. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I'm sorry that I called Carl Urban Keith for the entire film, but you know what? His name's Keith. Uh, thank you for watching. I do love you all. <laughs> Bye.